My name is Macy Johnson. I'm 25 years old. I have twin three-year-old daughters. I recently just went through a domestic violence situation with the father of my twins. I wasn't able to work. I wasn't able to do anything on my own. And that kind of put me in a position and I ended up getting an eviction in the place that I was staying at. And I didn't really have anywhere to go. And I was calling uh, a lot of different places. One of the final things he said to me was that I wasn't gonna be able to. I wasn't gonna be able to do anything on my own. And I got nervous that I wasn't gonna be able to figure it out. And I'm like, you know, other moms are doing that. They, they handle it, they can do it, I can do it. There are many barriers women in need face every day, including access to safe housing, healthcare, and employment. The Atlanta Women's Foundation exists to break these barriers and invests in programs to help women like Macy. Here at Live Safe Resources, we offer clients comprehensive wraparound services, and that can look like rental assistance, food assistance, legal assistance, all the things to help clients move forward into self-sufficiency. In 2021, we lost beloved former AWF board member, Sue Wheland. Sue was known for her generous spirit and was passionate about giving back to the community through AWF. Thanks to a generous gift from Sue and her husband, John, in 2006, AWF annually recognizes one of our grantees with the Sue Wheland Embracing Possibility Award. We nominated Macy Johnson as a shining example because of her drive and determination. She has been able to move into emergency shelter and then into transitional housing, work towards working on her budget with her case management, as well as enrolling in school. She is definitely on her way to self-sufficiency and has the will and the drive to get there. You can't dwell in the things that you're going through in life, like you have to overcome every obstacle because you don't have a choice anymore. It's like it's something that you have to push past and it's like they will listen like, wow, you went through so much. How are you able to be so strong and be able to uh, keep pushing? And I'm just like, God chose me to be able to come in here, learn everything that he wanted to teach me and be able to pass it on to somebody else. It, it feels empowering. It feels like I feel like a lucky person that I was given that opportunity. And now get where I'm trying to go and give somebody else a chance here.